again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of March, 2019. I'm going to attach a couple of links. One of the links is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters, and he's uh, obviously a guest uh, on uh, CNN. And the uh, host that he's chatting with is uh, most interesting. That's Anderson Cooper. And there's also an article written on the Los Angeles Times title. Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters says he's ashamed of Fox News and leaves his role as analyst. This was published on the 20th of March, 2018. Retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters, a longtime analyst for Fox News, told colleagues he is done with the network. He says has become a propaganda machine for President Trump. Hmm. They probably didn't want to renew his contract, or they probably didn't want to pay him a whole lot. Peter said in an email first reported Tuesday by BuzzFeed that he chose not to renew his contract as a paid contributor with Fox News on March the 1st because he was ashamed of the network. You know, he was there for 10 years. I wonder what woke him up. He said the 21st Century Fox-owned cable channel has gone from being a valuable conservative voice to assaulting our constitutional order and the rule of law, while fostering corrosive and unjustified paranoia among viewers. Peter's comments directly targeted the network's opinion hosts, which include Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingram, for the consistent attack on Special Counsel Robert S. Mueller III's investigation into Russian interference with the 2016 president election. Mueller is also looking to whether Trump obstructed justice when he fired James Comey from his post as FBI director. This is the same James Comey that exonerated Hillary Clinton for the use of her private server, huh? When primetime hosts who have never served their country in any capacity dismiss facts and empirical reality to launch profoundly dishonest assaults on the FBI. The Justice Department and the courts, the intelligence community in which I served, and not least a model public servant and genuine war hero such as Robert Mueller. You might want to check into Robert Mueller, see what Whitey Bulger thought of him. Oh, you can't, he's dead. All the while, Scaremongering with lurid warnings of deep state machinations. I cannot be part of the same organization, even at a remove, Peters wrote. To me, Fox News is now wittingly harming our system of government for profit. They've always done that. Peters missive is the second time in a week Fox News top rated conservative opinion hosts have been subjected to internal criticism. Well, not nearly as harsh. Fox News anchor Shepard Smith said in an interview with Time Magazine that some of the network's opinion programming is there strictly to be entertaining, which led to some blowback from Hannity and Ingram on social media. Hannity called Smith clueless about the reporting done on his program. Smith should also go see a psychiatrist. He's in love with another guy. But Peter's remarks are noteworthy because, as a Fox News national security analyst for 10 years, he has been a foreign policy hawk who frequently criticized the Obama administration. He was once suspended from the network for a week in 2015 after an appearance on Fox Business Network in which he used a vulgar term to describe former President Obama's fortitude in combating terrorism by Islamic extremists. Peter's email notes that his condemnation of Fox News does not include the hard news reporters at the operation whom he called talented professionals in a poised environment. He also excluded the Fox Business Network, where numerous hosts retain a respect for facts and maintain a measure of integrity. You mean like Charles Payne? Huh? He was accused of rape? Uh, how about Ed Henry, who had a, an illicit affair on uh, his uh, wife with someone out of Las Vegas? How about Roger Ailes and his casting coach? 
How many women have left that sued Fox News and left with millions of dollars due to sexual harassment and who knows whatever else? The place is a sewer. That's what Fox News is. How many times have you heard me say Fox News is a big propaganda machine? A Fox News representative did not comment on Peter's contract, but defended it on air talent. Ralph Peters is entitled to his opinion, despite the fact that he's choosing to use it as a weapon in order to gain attention, the network said in a statement. We're extremely proud of our top-rated primetime hosts. You proud of Shepard Smith, huh? <laughs> and all of their opinion programming. How about Chris Wallace? Hmm? How about Chris Wallace, whacked out Democrat? How about Brett Baer? Hmm? You proud of Brett Baer? Hmm? Absolute joke. That place needs to be shuttered. That's sort of what I think. And uh, as far as Peters is concerned, he was there 10 years. They probably didn't want to renew his contract, which is why he's striking out at them. But you know what? He's not that far off base. He is off base as far as saying that the talent professionals that work on the business end of Fox News. Things a joke. That's sort of what I think. Watch the embedded video. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to like-minded friends.